Okay, let's begin our practice. So let me share my screen. So now we will start a new exercise, exercise two. And here we'll consider now data and function approximation. So uh, using notice, we have three types of notice, equally spaced notice, uh, Chebyshev nodes and Chebyshev Lobato nodes. And we will interpolate polynomials uh, with this interpolating data. So let's begin the first example. Find the polynomials of degree n, n is equal to 5, 9, and 30, and interpolating the Runge function f of x at equally spaced nodes in the interval minus 5 and 5. So this function we call Runge function. So we need to interpolate for degree n, these polynomials, find these polynomials in the interval minus five and five, and then graphically represent this Runge function, the interpolating polynomials and interpolating data. We need to do these three ones, interpolating polynomials and interpolating data. And then repeat this exercise using now Chebyshev nodes. Now we will use this node, Chebyshev nodes, we call it for on the interval minus one and one. And probability scale in the general interval a, b by means of change of variable x, i. So if we consider it in general interval a, b, it will be, uh, we will define x by this way. And then which of two choice of nodes leads to increasingly accurate approximation. So we need to comment the results here. Okay, so we have this function, just a function. First of all, consider for equally spaced nodes in the minus five and five, and then graphically represent this function, interpolating polynomials and interpolating data for degree n is five, nine and 30. Okay, let's begin. So first of all, uh, let's enter format. So here we will use format short E, it's enough for us. And now, now we'll give what uh, this interval. So interval we give just a B as end points of these intervals, A equals to minus five and B equals to just five. Okay, now we will define the function, Runge function. Runge function will define as fx or just f equals to with at, at x. It defined function, function definition this is. And it's equals to one over the division one plus x squared, one plus x squared. So, okay, and now let's continue and uh, enter x node so it is x uh, enter x variable it, let's denote it with x plot we need to draw the graph also x plot is equals to lin space lin space and a b a b so we have a and b values of a and b so we just consider this interval now and from this interval, we get the uh, random vectors here, 100 vectors. Okay, now, now values of functions. Let evaluate the function f. Let do let denote like this one x plot. So it means f of x plot. So we just evaluate our function by this way. Okay, now open loop, consider the loop for n equals to, so here you can see it is five, nine, and 30. So we just add here four each time, yes? The difference between them is four. So it will be five till 30 and step is four. Is it clear? Without semicolon. Five, nine, 30 it means, and then, now 
let's continue and uh, do this operation for equally spaced nodes. Let me write the again x. So now we just find our nodes. Why we didn't uh, denote, our, denote our x with x? Because of here we will use this x. That's why here we just denote with x block. And now x equals to lean space ab ab and now number of vectors here it will be n plus one so however we have sn it is five nine and thirty degree yeah here so it takes n plus one values so this is equal to spaced notice and now for Chebyshev Lobato nodes, we just change here this x to our this t and this xi we will write here instead of our lean space. Is it clear? Now, first of all, let's do exercise for equally spaced nodes. And then evaluate our function again, y for our nodes. Find y node here. We have x node and now find y node corresponding, yeah? Evaluate f at x notice. And now, next comment this is uh, polynomial interpolation and we denote it by c. So c equals to poly feed. We have spatial common poly feed x, y, n. So it means polynomial interpolation of x, y notice with degree n. Is it clear? This is polynomial interpolation, polyfit. And now let's evaluate this polynomial, just denote by P. Now we have again special command poly wall for evaluating our polynomial. Poly wall, C and the X plot. Because of here we have polynomial interpolation as C and the variable is here just X plot. So we will put to polynomial interpolation this value of x plot, our given value yeah, here. And now let's continue. Now um, draw the graph here, use plot here, plot. So what should we do here? We need to draw the graph of Runge function, interpolating polynomials and interpolating data. So let's begin with uh, this uh, Runge function. It will be now x plot. Variables are here x plot and fx plot. Yeah, underline fx plot. Then We can give any color here, for example, blue here or red. It doesn't matter. So, and then here, uh, just give now polynomial interpolation. So, here, polynomial interpolating here now, uh, the variable here is x plot again, x plot and p, yes, and p. So, it's for example, blue. And now, one moment here. So we need to give notice also. Data, yes, x, y, they are notice. And how to denote this notice? Let's denote it by circles. So, and black circles. To draw it in black circles, we give here, instead of this color, k is black and k o. It means circles in black. If you want to do S plus, here just put circle uh, K plus instead of circle. Do you understand me? So this one means just K and denoted with pluses, these points or just circles. O, K, O. And you can give here line widths and etc. So this is plotting the graph here. Let's continue and end loop, end of the loop. 
now we'll get here figure one and the graph of the function. So you can see here this graph. So they are the circles, they are nodes. Is it clear why, uh, what does it mean? This KO, this is black circles. If we give line widths, it will be more bold circles. So in blue, we have the graph of interpolating polynomials. You can see here we have more errors. So the red, it is exact function, Runge function in red. Red, this is the Runge function. Blue, it is uh, polynomial interpolating. Is it clear how to get here? Let's save this graph. Let's still be uh, Runge, Runge one. So just save it. And now uh, let's consider the new one now. For now, for Chebyshev notice, we did this exercise for equal spaced nodes, and now we'll do it for Chebyshev notice. So we will reply again, uh, repeat again this comments. A is five, B A is minus five, B is five. Then we de define our Runge function, F with at X, yes. Then uh, we have X plot again. So I said we have difference only for, uh, inside of the loop. So f explode here, just explode first of all, and then f explode. Uh huh. Evaluate f function. So open the loop here. And now, so instead of this x lin space, this one, we have now Chebyshev function. Here we have Chebyshev notice, Chebyshev notice and x variable. So we just put, we just replace this uh, x lean space with these ones. Okay, let enter it. So here t is equals to minus cosine, minus cosine, and here two times. Now, instead of i, we will put just from one till n plus one because i changed from one till n plus one. You can write because we have loop for n so here you write by this way look here so two times open the brackets and instead of i root from one till n plus one the value of i yeah and minus one minus one so now times you can see pi times pi and division two times. Here, of course, we need to open the brackets two times i. So it is uh, two times n plus one. Two times n plus one. We need to close one more brackets and it's okay now. So Continue and give x here. x equals to b minus a over two times. Now you can see here uh, t, yes, two times t. And now plus b plus a over two. Here you can see our x a, x i, b minus a over two times t and then plus b plus plus a over two okay now now continue write uh, evaluate the function 
at this node is now. Now, polyfit here. In polymer interpolation and the poly wall. Evaluate polynomial. And then plot. So let's put here line widths to be more bold points. For example, two. Okay, line widths and the close the loop. So now we can see the new graph now. So it's very close to our Runge function. So Runge function is in red. Polynomial interpolating is in blue. And we have here notice, Chebyshev notice on these circles. So you can see this is very close graph to Runge function. So here we have less errors than uh, equal spaced notice. Is it clear? Okay, room get to this one is Okay, uh, let's show code. Okay, can you continue? Now, and let's move to the next example here. So, exercise number two. Approximate with interpolating polynomials of degree 5, 10, and 15 the following functions sine x and Runge function. You can see here again. Use both equally spaced and Chebyshev Lobato nodes. Now we will use equally spaced node and Chebyshev Lobato node. So here you can see how to define Chebyshev Lobato nodes. And now for each n, graphically represent the interpolating absolute error at 100 equally spaced points in the considered interval and print maximum absolute error. Is it clear? So we need to find now absolute errors and absolute error at 100 equally spaced points. Just first of all, just approximate with Polynomial, interpolating polynomials, these two functions of degree 5, 10, and 15 using equally spaced and Chebyshev Lobato nodes, and then find the interpolating absolute error and graphically represent it. Okay, let's begin. So I think I can clear all of them. And now let's begin the second exercise now. So we have for the first function, for the first function, let's do for sine x first of all. We have zero pi. So a is zero, b is pi. And now let's define function f. It's equals to again at x with at x, yeah? 
at x sine x. And now let's continue. So for the next function, we change here uh, this one, yeah? And the corresponding intervals, of course. And now let's continue. So x plot now again, x plot, it's equals to lean space a, b. And now fx plot, yeah, evaluate the function. fx plot, this is f of x plot. And now open the loop for, now you can see here we have n is 5, 10, and 15. So we can write just n from 5 till 15, and the difference is 5, like this. And now, first of all, let's enter equally spaced nodes. Equally spaced nodes, we know, so it is x, lean space, yeah? This one, a, b, n plus 1. This is equally spaced nodes. And let's evaluate the function. Y is equals to f of x. Okay. And now let's find the polynomial interpolation, C1, because we need to do for Chebyshev Lobato also. In this one example, we will do we will use two nodes and find two graphs here, of course. Graph of interpolating polynomial and graph of absolute error. So C1 is equals to polyfit polyfit x, y, n. Yes, interpolating polynomials. And then P1 corresponding, yes. P1 is equals to now polywall. Well, uh, well, evaluate the polynomial polywall. So here, you can see C1 and X plot. And now find error. Let denote by error one. So, however, they are polynomials. So we'll find here using uniform norm errors, not just here absolute value because of here we have uh, and this interval a b will consider and we will use here absolute uh, uniform error uniform norm uniform norm we will use here it, norm you know from lectures norm and how to find the error here subtract from uh, value of polynomial, value of function, f, x plot, corresponding values. And here we will use infinity norm. We have first norm, second norm, and infinity norm. So we will use here infinity norm. Using equally spaced nodes. So now continue. We need to show the result of these errors. Here you can see, print the maximum absolute error. You need to find the maximum of this absolute error. That's why here we use this infinity norm. So we need to print it. That's why we don't put here semicolon. And now continue. And we need to find this error for 100 equally spaced points, absolute error of interpolation. So here now we use absolute value, A, B, C, and again, P1 minus F X plot. Yeah. So now let's continue. And now, and now we will move to the next node, Chebyshev Lobato nodes. So for Chebyshev Lobato nodes here, we just enter T, so it's equals to minus cosine i minus one pi over n. I uh, change from one till n plus one. So instead of i, we can write one till n plus one. 
So minus cosine, open the brackets here and the inside of the brackets here. So we need to write here uh, over n, this is the denominator and now write a numerator. So it is one, i, I minus one. So from one to n plus one, from one to n plus one, and then minus one here times pi times pi and over n. So close the brackets, close the brackets, correct. So this is Chebyshev Lobato nodes in the interval minus one and one. And now we will consider Chebyshev Lobato nodes in the interval a, b. So we will define by this weight from previous exercise. So x equals to b minus a. So I have this one already one, this one. X equals to b minus a over two times t and plus b plus a over two. So this is Chebyshev Lobato nodes in the interval a b. And now evaluate the function. Y is f of x, and then find the corresponding polar interpolation. Now it is c two. Yes. Let denote by c two. Then evaluate this polynomial. For this C2, we have now P2. Okay, now find error, error two. Error two. Where is error? Just a second. This one. So error two is now norm. Uh, P2 now minus FX, FX plot, yeah? Value of polynomial minus value of function. Uh, function sine X here. Just print the result here again. And let's uh, write this one now. So here we have P2 and error two, P2 and error two. Okay. Again, uniform norm of the interpolating error here and absolute norm here, absolute error here. Now, now we need to draw the graph. How to draw the graph? We, we have two graphs. The, in the first graph, we have uh, graphs of, um, interpolating polynomial graph of interpolating polynomial for equal spacing nodes, then graph of interpolating for, uh, for Chebyshev Lobato nodes, and then uh, graph of the function and uh, notice. Okay, just do like this figure one. This is first figure. Okay, in this figure, we will plot the graph plot so here we have x plot, the first variable, then p1, just color, blue, for example, and then x plot, and now p2, yes, uh, second one, and for Chebyshev Lobato nodes, and give any color, red, for example. Next one is the graph of the function, x plot, X plot and F X plot with underline yes F X plot. So let's any color here, uh, yellow, green, any color, green of course. Okay. So now notice X Y and how to denote it with K O again K O and give this to this K O line with. If you want to give to each lines, you can write after these colors here, line widths. 
line width two. Okay, now, now we will write here uh, in box name of these functions. How? Legend to, to give names, we will use uh, this kind of command legend. So now the first one is equ for equally spaced. Equally spaced. Next one is comma, and next one is Chavish Flobato. Let me write just GL, Chavish Flobato, it means, okay? And then the function sin x, sin x. And the next one is data or notice, just interpolating data, okay? Just data, data. The next one is data. Okay, now, so we have the first graph and now second graph, figure two, figure two. Let's continue. And here we have now new plot, plot. So, and now we have here error one, 100 and error two, 100 here. So x plot, x plot error one 100 absolute error yeah interpolating error and give any color again for example blue and you can give here i said the line widths line widths here yes for example two and then uh explode first variable is explode again and the second variable is in now error two 100 and here again, any color, for example, magenta. And uh, for example, again, line widths. Line widths two. Okay, now again, le using legend, we can give name of this graph. So legend, uh, first of all, this equally spaced again for equally spaced error one. Space it and error two for Chebyshev Lobato and close the loop and let's consider the graphs now. Okay, okay. So you can see here two graphs in the first graph. We have here equally spaced. You can see in the box, it is legend, yeah? Uh, equally spaced, Chebyshev of Lobato and sign X and data, they are data. But here you can see they are very close to each other. That's why we have as one graph here. But when we zoom this graph, you can see other lines also. but they are very close to each other. And here we have the next graph, which is compute the uh, uh, interpolating error. So for equally spaced notice, this interpolating error is bigger than Chebyshev Lobato nodes. You can see here. Is it clear? And here you can see uh, the values of these errors, error one, error two, error one, four, and, and we have five, 10, and 15. For each n, we have for equal species and for Chebyshev Lobato node, these errors in norm, yeah? Maximum errors. Maximum errors here. And let's continue. So uh, we said about it. So here we have 
uh, maximum interpolated errors for each n. So this, and uh, they are the graphs of this uh, polynomials. Okay, so now let's continue. And now we need to find, we need to find this uh, exercise for, we need to work with the exercise for next function, Runge function, F2. So one over one plus X squared. Here we consider that uh, equal space and notice, uh, it's not good choice for this Runge function, but for sine X, it's good. It can be a good uh, choice. So, uh, but for Runge function, it's not good way. And here we have more errors and uh, more differences between graphs of these functions. But sine X, you, you, we uh, consider that uh, we show that it, it, they are very close to each other. Okay, now work with this function again. And here, let's write one more time. But in this case, now, uh, Runge function given in interval minus two pi and two pi. So let's do it. A is minus two pi minus two pi and B is two pi. B is two pi and function F. F denote, uh, F, let's define the function as at X. So it will be one over uh, one Runge function, one plus X square, X square. Okay, now this let's give from the pre uh, from the beginning. So this x plot. So x plot, then f x plot. The evaluation of the f. Then uh, open the loop again. Yes. So, and then uh, for equally spaced node, we have uh, X. This is equ for equally spaced notice and evaluate the function. Then uh, C1 corresponding polynomial interpolation here. With polyfit is common, then P1. We have this common, that's why I just write ready one. So, polyval evaluate the polynomial and then error one with the uniform norm. Here you can see, yes, this is difference of P1 and uh, value of F function for X plot. Now, uh, this is, we need to show, that's why here is our semicolon. And then error one, 100 here we have. So error one, 100, we don't have error one, 100. So here just tap it. So this here we have just absolute value now, absolute value 100, yeah. So, and then here we need to put semicolon now. And now, and now for Chebyshev Lobato nodes, do the same work. So here we have uh, Chebyshev Lobato nodes, T, yes, with minus cosine I minus one times pi over N, and then X, Chebyshev Lobato nodes in the interval A, B. So here we have X given and evaluate the function y. Then C2 corresponding uh, polynomial interpolation now. 
and P2. Evaluate the polynomial with respect to C2. Okay, now uh, error two, uniform norm, first of all, to define the maximum value. And then uh, error two, 100, to define absolute value of 100, notice. This one. And then let's draw the graph here. So figure one, in the first figure, we'll consider uh, graphs of uh, function P1, graphs of P2 and F. Here we can see F and uh, notice. And then legend to write names of these functions. So we have here legend, yeah. And then figure two, next graph, it is the graph of errors. So here we have a uh, plot this one, error. First error, second error. And then um, we have legend for this error equally spaced and chubby lobato and close the loop so now we have uh, uh, these two graphs so the, this is figure two let first of all begin with the figure one so here we can see now uh, how they change so here this blue one it is Equal spaced notice interpolating. You can see there's difference. So, uh, sorry, here we wrote this just sine x. Uh, we need to do it in the chain, this sine x to run your function, right? Run your. But I think it doesn't matter. Uh, here inside of this legend, just you need to change this sign, this name to run your. But the graph it will be without changing. It, it, it's uh, not affected to our graph. So here we can see this is sine x in yellow and uh, not sine x here, this Runge function in, yellow, uh, in green here, yes. And on red, we have uh, chavish lobato nodes and on blue, we have equal spaced nodes. And you can see, in, so here, we have noticed in black circles. So here we have differences between them. Is it clear why it's not working for equal spaced notice? Because we have big uh, errors when we approximate. Okay, now the second graph shows us the errors here, graph of errors. You can see for equal spaced node, they are very big. And for Chavish of Lobato node, they are very small here, you can see. They are errors, graph of errors. And now here we have the value for these errors. Error one, error two, for n is five, for n is 10 and n is 15. Is it clear? Any questions here? No questions? Okay, if no questions, we will continue. So next one, number three, graphically represent the not a not cubic spline. Now we will move to the splines. Do you remember what is spline? This is the uh, piecewise uh, functions which is approximate our function. So which is very close to our function. And usually we'll use cubic splines, cubic spline interpolating for Runge function over, this is not 16 here mistake, just six, six, 10 and 40, six, 10 and 40 here. 
equal space and node in the interval minus five and five. Compare the graphs with the ones of x size one and comment the result. Okay, so here we have the graph of in the uh, x size one. Yes, for equal space and node, we save it. So now um, let's let's continue and do cubic spline interpolating here. So to do this cubic spline interpolating, we have spatial common spline, uh, which considered it in lecture. So now let's begin with this example. So let me close other ones. So let me save just a second. So here we have now um, new function. So it is for uh, Runge. Runge. Okay. So and next function. This one is the graph of uh, errors. Runge error. Okay, so now let's continue and we can clear all. So here with this, they are result, they are errors. Okay, clear all. And now let's begin. So here we have again interval minus five and five. So A equals to minus five. B equals to five. And then we need to compare with the first exercise. And then define the Runge function again. So let me write here already one. So this is Runge function now. And uh, Explode, give explode. And then value of function, evaluate the function f explode, yeah? With underline, let the note it again. So, and then open the loop. So four, now it is six till 40 and the difference is four, six, 10, 40. Then, ah, sorry, we have, we need to write n, sorry. So four n equals to, we lost our n, six, four, and 14, yeah? And now uh, write this equal space and notice, x lean space, X lane space just n now, a b n, and evaluate the function y equals to f of x. Now, now let's give spline s equals to let denote by s, and then we have common spline spline of x y notice and the x plot three variables we have here. So now let's draw now this spline here. Spline and nodes also plot. So here we have the variable for spline. This is x plot, x plot, but it depends on nodes also. And S and any color, B for example, again. So then, um, here we can give line widths. It is two. So now notice x, y, let the node by k, o. K, o, and give again 
line widths. And then we have now function, graph of function, x plot. If I correctly remember, so uh, the color was, let me show one more time, the color here. So, uh, let's check one more time. The first function for equal species nodes, Runge function. So here you can see this Runge function and equal species nodes. So Runge function we denoted by R and uh, so by red and equal space nodes blue okay so let's do it again so here just do it x plot and uh, fx plot fx plot So fx plot uh, and the color is red again. Okay, again, for example, line width. So now just continue and find error. Error equals to norms norm and now spline minus a value of function fx plot and we use we'll use infinity norm here also okay now let's continue and close the loop let's check it one more time so you can see here this kind of graph. So red, uh, red it is Runge function and blue it is spline. You can see they are very close. So this is spline, piecewise function which cover our function, which is cover our function. Is it clear? So you can see, and now here, the errors between spline and the value of f. The value of f. So if you do this plot, for example, if we clear here uh, line widths, I think it will be more clear graph. Let's check it. Yeah, you can see here now on red, this is again Runge function, and on blue, this is spline, and black circles are notice. Is it clear? So let's now compare to this graph. So here we have just used equal species notice. Here we use it splines for equal species notice. Which is better? Of course, this one is better. Last one. Is it clear? So we have these two graphs. This graph also we have here. Any other questions? Is it clear now uh, how it works with splines? So they, they are cover our graph, approximately, of course, here, almost core. And here you can see the values of errors. In this exercise also, we need to find these errors.
what type of questions we'll have on exams. Uh, multiple choice questions it will be. Any other questions? No questions, okay. If no questions, we'll finish today's practice. And the next time we will start from this exercise, exercise number four. See you the next time. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.